Hello and welcome back everyone to another uh, turn resolution of War in the Pacific. This is June 4th, 1942. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, Skipjack. Oh, Mark 14. Dud. Okay, at least one of them. Okay, anything else? Now, I don't have any night bombing because the moonlight is dropping. Uh, I believe it's going to, yeah, see 60%. Well, okay, 71% through the night. But I just opted not to bother. It's just too... I'm not getting any accuracy, and so there's no point. I'm going to take a chance on the day, t day bombing. Okay, another uh, Mark 14 dud uh, with the Grampus here south south of the Solomons. All right, let's see what we got for air. Um, I've got some Dutch bombing, and that's usually very precarious because the Japanese have a lot of fighters in the Java. So let's see what we got today. All right, this is, yeah, we're spotting there at Horn Island. Um, all right, uh, P400 sweeping here just to see what he's got. It's thunderstorms anyway. No, I'm not, I'm actually not bombing that hex. Okay, Sally. Okay, so he's bombing our tank, our armored brigade here. Uh, that's fine. I mean, it's what it's what it is. Uh, and and actually, I don't think it accomplished. Actually, I forgot to look. At, sorry, guys, I didn't look at what the damage was on our armored brigade. This one is light rain. It's it's our Dutch battalion here. Um, no effect. Light rain and also the terrain probably helps as well. Lily hitting Wenchow. Okay. Okay, this is where it's going to be dicey. We're trying to get his tanks, which is... Looks like it's not a good idea. Um, 16 of these Dutch bombers. Let's see how many get through. 10? So we lost 6. That's not good. Alright. Um. Alright, I'm gonna push through this. Alright. Uh, I, I want to say we lost 7 of these Dutch bombers. All right, but now we have follow-up. This time he has three Oscars. Nine and 12, let's see how many get through. This might, you know, okay. Basically we lose one L212, okay? But we're not, we're also, look at this, we're also not doing anything to his ground troops. I guess it doesn't help the heavy rain, but yeah, we lose an L212, okay? All right, now we've got Blenheim's bombing in Burma. This the idea here is he's got troops moving west along this road, and I'm trying to slow him down because I want to knock these guns out before he gets there. All right, um, I actually didn't pay attention. Did we lose any of these Blenheim's? Okay, let's get through this. Um, we had 29, and, and all 29 survived. We did take some damage, uh, which might potentially mean ops losses, too. Um, this is a situation where we've got more Blenheims, and he has even more Oscars defending here. Okay, zero destroyed. Okay, and he's got still four Oscars flying here as we leave the area. Okay, another situation where we, looks like anyway, didn't lose any play. 
Now these Hudsons come in after. Oh, by the way, I had a sweep scheduled for this, I think, but it didn't go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, this Hudson was damaged. Must be by flak. The thunderstorms aren't helping, but hopefully, again, hopefully it's just at least keeping him in combat mode. And now we got B-25s following that up. <clears throat> okay, so some follow-up sweep uh, sweepers there. All right, some recon stuff going on, and more Blenheim. Uh, yeah, this this isn't doing much. All right, now we're in the PM phase. Some overzealous carrier bomber, carrier planes, pilot, and. These are the AVG, and let's see if we can shoot down some of these Oscars. Let's let's watch this for a minute. There's one. Um, and there's two. She's showing we're diving. Uh, there's three. I think our bombers are bringing these Oscars down. And then when our fighters get in, they're um, they're down lower, and our um, basically P-40s can get in there and shoot them up. Okay. Critical hit, but. Well. All right, we're seeing a lot of these Oscars damaged. Hopefully, we can get some ops losses with them. I mean, of course, we're we're you know, look at this, one to one. Okay, that's pretty cool. We started with six versus thirteen, and we ended the battle one to one. So that's kind of neat, I think. A little bit of resilience from our a uh, volunteers. Okay, this is three v three, and for now, of course, three v two. Damaged Oscar fled away, but we're leaving the field two or the air <laughs> airspace uh, two to one. Let's see, can we shoot it down? Come on, guys! All right, we're withdrawing some one to one. All right, we at least damaged him. He left. We we um we win the day with one fighter. And also, our fighter groups came in in uh, waves. Well, bombers too. So his fighter pilots have to be exhausted. Uh, another bombing raid at buckle load. Alright, B 17s bombing Kumak. What's new? Alright, but this is an air based uh, attack. S um, supply hits and some nice runway hits. Alright, I'm just gonna keep doing this quick thing. Alright, two supply hits this time. Telling you what, I'm itching to get up that uh, up that road and hit Kuma, to retake Kuma. Okay, so bombardment at Wen Chow. Bombardment at Yana. And this, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter, but I don't ever feel like, well, first of all, supplies are low at Yana. I don't ever feel like bombarding with when I have fewer guns, especially that much, uh, that, that fewer. Um, 
All right, more Japanese bombardments. This time we take some damage here, nine casualties. Let's see, bombardment here on this road and the crossroads, and no vis visible effect. Bombardment here in Australia. Yeah, no damage. Okay, let's see. We've been destroying several guns. Let's see if we can get some this time. Nope. Uh, but it looks like we have two to one AV advantage. All right, and <clears throat> this is our reply. Oh, we taken damage again on our bombardment. Oh well. All right, and this bombardment reply is of no use. Okay, we're shock attacking this gun battalion here on the road to um okay so 116 to 1 and he takes and and he actually holds um holds meaning well in my mind what that means is hold he didn't retreat well of course that's what it means but i just mean uh it's not like he like i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say the point is we destroyed 24 guns what but here's the thing what i really need to do is eliminate this unit because right now the only path i have is this hex side here if i can't take this hex before he gets in here with what either of these two units then i'm out of supply here and we'll we'll die on the vine on the vine here with this armored brigade so that i don't i don't need that to happen all right um All right, so this is our reply bombardment in China. Okay, I guess that's it. We got an expansion, some uh, some bases expanding, most of the fortifications it looks like. Oh, all fortifications. Okay. Yeah, I've got some stuff refitting here. Just want to go ahead and get these anti-aircraft guns on some of these ships up. Uh, because as as things start escalating in the, all, well, all parts in the Pacific, I want to be able to shoot down enemy aircraft as, as frequently as possible. Especially if I'm going to lose ships, might as well shoot down some aircraft while I'm at it. Okay, June 5, let's see what that we what we have in store today. By the way, <clears throat> I should have talked about the statistics on this the fourth. We did lose uh about 10 <clears throat> uh Dutch B10 bombers and okay. So here in by, by Palembang, we're just trying to get into their t tankers but he's he's um he got a bead on us before we could fire a torpedo <clears throat> but while you're watching this fun times just letting you know that we lost some dutch bombers but he lost about 10 equivalent um oscars so and then just some miscellaneous other aircraft nothing nothing big deal mostly dutch this uh, Java action down here. So we'll see what today holds. And I believe the Oscars probably were lost by Burma, but he could have lost some um, due to ops losses down in Java. Okay, so all the bombardment, or well, by uh, depth charges here, well, we took no direct hits. We, we did definitely see some rattles, of course, but, uh, yeah, got through it.
Okay. Uh, that might be our ASW unit. I don't know. All right, we got some hell divers there in the South Pacific looking for sub. Anyway, right now we're spotting. Okay, so I I kept this. Okay, uh, no, this is different. All right, we're sweeping the artillery piece that's sitting here. I'm gonna bomb this. The I don't know. I I have some bombing going on all up in here. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd like to destroy that gun unit, but all right, we're sweeping over. Oh, okay. He, uh, because of fatigue, he probably put his Oscar uh, fatigue and losses. He put his Oscars to bed up here. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All we've got are some lowly buffaloes trying to hold off this huge um, bombing raid. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, why not like, beat up these guys? Also, they have to fly a ways. I mean, I can't believe he's still doing this. Seems like his Oscars would be fatigued. Well, I guess he didn't fly in. He probably took a break because I don't remember him flying in last turn. All right, buffaloes, come on. Stand your ground. Okay, never mind. All right, okay. All right, so we're just going to push through here. Um,. Yeah, we lost at least one buffalo, and uh, certainly a lot of hits there. Okay. All right, our first lightning sweep. So he knows we're in the area now. Um, works for me. I'm okay with that. All right, so bombing at Bacalod. And uh, this is on the road to uh, Bandung. Bandung. Um, so he's probably trying to cut his path there. We do have some decent AV here. Um, certainly he does too, so uh, sure we won't last long there. All right, so we have an AA unit that he's bombing. That's funny. Well, we'll see how we our AA does. We're damaging his aircraft anyway. Uh, is that coming from Weewak? Okay. Yeah, nice. We damage four uh, bombers, and we don't take any uh, now light rain here. Okay. Sally's bombing... We got these remnants sitting here in the hex to kind of slow him up, but it looks like he's going to try to destroy us by air. And it looks like he might be successful. It's pretty epic. And another uh, bomber raid over North Sumatra. But no effect there. Well, maybe not going to start a move mode, but otherwise. Wenchow, Lily's bombing there. Okay. All right, we're flying out and about, and see if these seven falcons can get through. Uh, so far, it's not looking good. Yeah, wow. I, uh, my guess, I, I should have stuck around. I didn't think we were going to flee. Um, I don't think we sh lost all of them. I think we fled. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like these guys are going to get chewed up and maybe spit out, too. Okay, so some of them get through. All right, we did... T I, I'm going to say we lost probably... Oh, well, I guess at least one, right? Five? Yeah, one. All right. 
Okay. So we're bombing the artillery, and my goal is to destroy them. So let's see how we do. <clears throat> um, yep, eight destroyed guns. I mean, it's not destroying the unit, but um, these guns he'll have to replace. Uh, 30 casualties, but yeah, that's, that's a good bombing raid. And a follow-up with three whirlaways. Okay, no effect. Alright, we swapped the skies, and of course there wasn't anything, but <clears throat> the, the idea is to see if we can bomb without getting losing a bunch of aircraft. Okay, Kumog. I can't remember if this is a ground strike. Um, well, if it is, they did a terrible job. Yep. So what we can see here is he has elements of a division, another division, fourth, and tw elements of the 20th, <clears throat> and 52nd Naval Guard unit. So this is still a sizable unit sitting here, okay? The light rain doesn't, didn't help our bombers, but... <clears throat> What are you going to do? This this is a bit better here. Not still not still not great, but better. All right. Very uncoordinated. All right. This is where he put the <clears throat> pardon me. This is I think I'm sweeping this also, but they just didn't go. Uh, but this is where he put his cap over his troops there. I don't blame him for that. I just wish my sweep had gone first because I needed to get a better hit on that. And it's clear skies, so it should be... Look, this is better because it wasn't intercepted. Alright, and more bombing over... Oh, even better. So they're getting better as we go, right? <clears throat> I'm sure... Well, I mean, it's mildly annoying to me for all these bombing raids. Imagine, you know... I imagine he's... Not real impressed himself. All right, good. So we got Era Cobras in here, and I was hoping his Nates would be still wanting to fly, so we can maybe shoot some of them down. All right, so we didn't lose any aircraft on that mission. Not a bad turn so far. Certainly better than the last few, two or three in, in air phase. <clears throat> Maybe he'll be less inclined to come out, too, because... Ooh, Jake, damaged by a fly. Less inclined to come out and play because... He knows we're out in force in both Australia and Burma. Alright, so we did get in a free bombing raid, but yeah, no hits. Alright, some more Blenheims. Now, I probably want to hit this unit here soon and sooner than later also. In fact, I thought I scheduled something to hit that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Like a, the Wellingtons? I'm not sure. I don't know. I hope I did. Uh. Well, if I did, they didn't go, or maybe I'm... Anyway. Alright, I-10 here south of Suva. Alright, the bombers supposedly, air quotes, hit this thing several times, but um, it's still sitting there, so I decided 
to just send some destroyers take matters into the, my own hands and it looks like we're not faring any better than the bombers here All right. Okay, the perch decides to fire the sub chaser. Okay. Okay. All right, land phase. What are we going to do? Bombardment attack at Wenchow. Bombardment attack at Yanan. Yanan. Okay, we actually do more damage to him, uh, including a destroyed squad. Bombardment attack here on the road to Yanan. Uh, bombardment at the crossroads. Famous crossroad. And let's see. Delivered attack here. Yeah, we had some AV, but man, this is nothing compared to this brigade. Well, yeah. Two to one, though, man. That's close. Close, close. Well, actually, it was very close to three to one. So it was always in his favor. Lost a ton of stuff. Three units retreated, and down here, so it's going to be annoying for both of us, because first of all, these guys are probably just going to die sitting out here, no supplies. But um, but also, he's he probably won't chase them. I wouldn't. Okay, he's testing what we got here. What do we got here? Not much. But right now it's <clears throat> two to one, but we get a we get forts and, and a plus um, terrain. All right, he lost a gun up here in Australia. And he's bombarding at Rangoon. Um, deliberate attack. This is actually the Japanese attacking us. Funny enough, I had a, uh, I scheduled my guys to attack, so it probably won't, our attack probably won't go, uh, if it goes off at all, it won't go any better than this. I do have tanks here, in fact I have Lees, so we'll see how it plays out. Uh, unless his preemptive attack um, keeps my guys from attacking. Anyway, let's push through this as well. Um, so our bombardment had no effect. All right, so we do get off our deliberate attack. Let's. Ooh, that's that's not good at all. Um. Okay, what do we do? All right, not too terrible, and we destroyed two of his guns. Um. Yeah. possible these were the last two guns of his art uh, mortar um, okay and uh, this is our bombardment at Rangoon this is a shock attack I want to finish this battalion off okay what just happened here Okay, we destroyed it. Good. Um, finished off the 14 vehicles. We took this hex, which means we own the road to where he's got units. So that's good. Um, now the next question is where do we go from here? Uh, and I'll have to think about that. And this is our bombardment at, uh, on that road to Yanan. Okay. All right, some fortifications, expansions, daily waters, airfield, Iman. I think that's Soviet base. 
this was a very uh, long, drawn-out turn, because, mostly because of all the air raids and sweeps that I set up. But we had some decent grounded uh, strikes of fighting as well. Okay, these oilers. I've got some oilers that I wanted to refit as well. Uh, again, I may. It doesn't mean I'm impervious. It just means that I might shoot down some aircraft on the way down. We'll take a few minutes to go around, look at the statistics, and then see see if something stands out on the map. All right, I thought I'd start with the statistics because uh, why not? So we lost seven to to eight aircraft. He didn't fly like I would hope was hoping um, in some of the areas, so we didn't get any very many kills. Um, if we look here, uh, he lost two lilies to ops. I'm not sure if those are the ones that bombed China or not. Two nades, one was air-to-air -air and one was ops. <clears throat> I'm surprised we didn't get more of those. Sally's, two, one to flak and one to ops. That's probably the bombing over uh, New, uh, New Guinea. Uh, Falcons, we lost a couple. One to air-to-air -air and one to ops. Blenheims, two to ops, those long bomber bombing raids. Oscars, we lost one. We're sorry, he lost one Oscar, one Claude Ops. B339. So these buffaloes over <clears throat> these over Ambon, these over Java shot down air to air, and then we lost a Hurricane to Ops. This was uh, probably a long range sweep. In any case, uh, I won't need as much sweeping now that I've. Well, we'll take a look. Um, how many pilots did we lose? Actually, only two missing. Uh, I guess we rescued all the others. I wonder if they the missing ones. Uh, glitch. Okay. Weird, weird glitch. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at ship sunk. See if anything. Nothing. Um, all right. So one thing I want to look at is. Burma okay uh, so he decided to just head this way because we took this bay this hex I get why he was um, wanting to come here because if he chased us in here and actually arrived we would be locked in here and there's no way we would push that guy out even with jo even with well times two he's already already stronger than us by three <clears throat> anyway, so my thought is we can do, um, we have multiple options, right? We can come back this way and take Pegu from the rear because he's leaving this hex. So I could take Pegu and I might just do that because here's the thing. I think this could be a problem, like a war of attrition, uh, because it's one to two. This is clear, right? And also, he's leaving it. So, I feel like... <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you what. For now, this is what I'm going to do. And if... Um, if we get there, we get there, right? Um, and again, he's going to be hard-pressed to supply this. Um, so, there's no road connection here. He, I have I have this road, basically, or at least right here, up to, up to here. <clears throat> So he's he's having to cross um, this jungle rough to get supplies here, and as he marches up the road, he's going to get further away from those supplies. He could well he can fly supplies into both of these hexes. Um, I might start. I don't know. Well, what I might do is long range cap this so that if he flies supplies into here, we can shoot some stuff down. I don't know what supplies he has here now as well. He might have brought a bunch in while we were fighting here. I, I don't know. Um, anyways, we're going to we're gonna push down and see how, how that goes. I think that's what we'll do. Again, eh, well, 
Okay, so this isn't much. He's going to knock these guys about. He can go this way and up. But <clears throat> we've got, you know, some... We've got some reinforcements coming. We do already have 129 AV and some 76 more. And this is... Um, this is not going to be easy to take. Plus, we've got fortifications. So, uh, if he if he comes up this way and up, we've delayed him long enough with this tank unit here. This seventh armored has earned like, well, a lot. Th this has been huge putting this here, because otherwise he would have come up here and either either gone up this road or up this road, and real he would probably be here by now. But the 7th Armored has given us time to prepare, and now we've got reinforcements coming, um, and more in, more in reserve as needed. Okay, so this, uh, I think this is okay. Uh, we won't lose Rangoon for some time now, be, because he, do, he just doesn't have enough to do anything down here at this time. Um... He, he can't take Rangoon with what he has here. Um, and if I can get the 7th armor down here, if I do take it, I'm going to come in here. We'll cut him off. Whoops. We'll cut him off, and I think I'll just attack. Um, so that's that. There's not much going on in China, although let me check one spot here. I've got cavalry converging on this unit here. Like I said in a prior video... He's got these guys spread out, so I don't know if he's um, how strong this is going to be, but we'll go in here and see. Plus, I've got more cavalry. Um, okay. Why is. I'm just going to slide over, okay? Um. Get into here, and then we'll uh, bring... Because this is part of this core, the, the core that's going up here. I kind of want to, you know, converge there. Um, just don't have... Having a hard time getting this supply to this hex. And it doesn't help that we've brought in another unit into this hex. Um, all right. Okay. Um, things are... Things are okay up here. It's it's not great, but we're we're holding in in important air in the important areas. All right, let's we're kind of working backwards from what I might normally want to do, but that's okay. I hope. Um. So, well, uh, you know, of course, he's got a huge build up here. More stuff coming in. I don't know what's coming at what's coming at me, but <clears throat> he knows what we have here now. Certainly, he's going to be doing something to do something about it. Uh, <clears throat> we have decent... Um, cap right over this axe. And then I'm, I'm not going to bomb here, but I might bomb here. <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll send everything here. We've been bombing here. He's probably tired of it, and he's probably got cap still. So we'll bomb here and see if we can catch him off guard. Um, but yeah, the, more troops are coming here. These guys are coming here. It looks like these guys are coming here. He's going to try to take this first. And what that tells me is that tells me we can drop this down to, let's say, 10. And hopefully, Batavia gets some more. Hopefully we move supplies up this road. Okay. Um, all right. He bombed Maroc, and I can't do anything to reinforce this. It's They're going to have to hold on their own. <clears throat> um, I'm going to stop building this for better or for worse. Uh, it feels like a waste, and it probably was. But that's what we're going to do, because otherwise we're giving him a base, and I'd rather focus on um, airfield, uh, I mean, sorry, fortifications there. 
So combat defend, that's okay. We will look at um all right. Neither one of us owns this hex, okay? Uh which is kind of a good thing. I think that tells me that I can slide down here. I'll keep it in move I'll keep it in combat mode and defend. But I'm gonna um and it looks like we're gonna go off roading here. That's okay. Um, it says 92. That's if we're going this way, it's going to take more than 92 to get there, but uh, whatever. Um, but surprise, surprise, we have um, artillery. I'm going to bring even more artillery, because why not? It looks like at this point he's just moving by land, and he won't be invading these hexes. Uh, the 32nd Infantry has not moved yet, because it's still unpacking. It's it's that it's that huge, I guess. Uh, yeah, and, and this just finished unpacking, so we'll slide over as soon as... Uh, it'll probably take us four days to get over here, and then we can... Um, do some more bombardments all right i wanted to point out we have now as you probably are aware we have bombers here now um just arrived low fatigue so we're going to put them to work we're going to start bombing this hex because as soon as the 32nd gets up here and causes some havoc we'll um yeah Okay, I'm not sure what we're going to do exactly just yet, but the 32nd is going to come up here and then across. It may all take forever. Um, for that matter, I'm going to try to do this one instead. All right, I don't like, I don't like this. So if, if, if you don't let me go southwest, I mean southeast, let's go southwest and then I'll, I'll think about it after that. Okay, whoops. Uh, this is all clear. So if we go here and then here, should be okay. Um, but yeah, our, our inf infantry, um, our, our 32nd Infantry Division is going up this road, and then we're going to cut across um, from Jungle Rough to clear. The fact that we have a road here, we should get here at a decent clip. But cutting across here might take us a few days. But I'd rather do that than um, than just go straight across and be in some kind of a, a deadlock there. And I don't know if this is going to work. So we'll go up here and then we'll see the situation and then we'll go from there. Also, I need to get some more recon in the area. All right. I think that do that about does it. We're uh, unloading something here, um, or we already unloaded. This should be, um, I believe maybe we just got here, but, um, but yeah. So uh, anyway, I'll figure out what's going on here. It looks like kind of like a mess. Some things like some things here. I want to pull out, but these are engineers, and um, and I don't want to pull them out too quickly because they're helping build up the base. I want to get this to level eight airfield before I start pulling engineers off. Um, this one can be built a little bit slower because once I get level eight here, I'm not going to stress too much about this one. Uh, won't be quite the same push. Anyway. <coughs> oh, let's see. <clears throat> Trying to sink this guy, but <clears throat> to no avail. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so we had some snooping, uh, snooping Japanese recon jakes or something 
around Johnston lately. So I know that means he has subs lurking somewhere. So we brought these kingfishers here. And the goal is to, well, fly ASW around, just right around here, very close in, of course. So let's see how we do, if we can find those subs and try to either sink them or at least spot them so we know what to look out for. In addition, although it's not going to be, it's not going to just be, it's not going to reach Johnston, but... We do also have these Liberator B LB-30s flying ASW around Pearl. We haven't seen any subs in a really long time in this area, so I'm not 100% sure where he took his subs to. He could be sending them back to upgrade, but anyway. Um, okay, uh, this is just a bunch of convoys running miscellaneous things, I guess. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I pretty much covered the high points. I'm going to wrap it up here because I could go on, uh, but nobody wants that. And uh, we'll come back and talk about June 6th turn. I mean, two years from now, we'll be invading uh, Normandy, although uh, the GIs don't yet know that. And uh, But what what's in store for Pacific? I mean, the, our timetable has changed from historical so who knows anymore um who knows uh real quick i guess since i picked this these 30 these combat engineers are gonna link join up and we're gonna um have a pretty decent size unit heading up a pretty decent size core essentially a whole core we'll we'll bring the the uh, this headquarters which i know is really good for invasions but but hey, we can we can use it as a amphibious invasion. Works really. All right. I mean, sorry, land across a land invasion. All right. Um, I don't think I missed anything. If I did, uh, feel free to ask me any questions. Hopefully, I can answer them. Uh, oh, uh, you probably noticed these, um, or if you haven't, I'll point them out anyway. These are carriers. Well, I think you can tell. Uh, the goal here is, I guess we're moving slowly. I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, cruise speed. Anyway, uh, there's no rush. We're getting out here, and then I'm gonna fly these fighters. We got um, some marine fighters on the Enterprise that I kind of wanted to put up here in somewhere in the South Pacific. Because I wanna, I wanna um, use the Marines out here on these islands, and try to get some of these Army fighters up into um, Australia. We do, we we are uh, very short on fighters on Australia, but I don't want to totally. I mean, I think we can start peeling some of these fighters off into Australia, but anyway. Um, so yeah, also on that note, the Long Island, and here I am rambling even after I said I wasn't going to anymore, uh, but the Long Island is, I'm trying to find because, um, man, how far has it gone? Okay, is this it right here? Oh, right. So the Long Island is very short range ship. Well, and it's escorted by short-range ships. Uh, so we're getting refueled here at Pearl Harbor. And then we're going to come down to, um, well, I believe, Pago Pago or nearby. And then um, offload the aircraft, I think. And then uh, go back. But the goal here is to basically ferry these um ferry these uh, marine air units so that'll be uh, nice to have all right um i'm gonna go ahead and uh call it here but um take care everyone and uh hope you know hope you're enjoying this series this campaign uh it's not it's not been too excited too excited too exciting as of late but 
um, you know, I hope to spice it up with some offensives of my own soon enough. Uh, try to catch him while he's a little bit spread out here in Australia, Burma, um, Java. I don't have much choice, but uh, hopefully these troops um, occupy his attention long enough because otherwise he's going to start bringing these divisions up into, um, well, uh, Burma, India, Australia, somewhere. Uh, so the, the, I, the, the hope is to do what we can here while we can, and also Australia, and then see what, see what we can do from there, go from there. All right. Take care, everyone. Um, have a good rest of your day. Bye.